It is the nightcap here at the CONCACAF Men's Under-20 Championship from San Pedro Sula, Honduras, and Estadio Morazan. It's Jamaica and the host, Honduras. I'm Josh Eastern. Thanks so much for being with us. We close out this Monday night on a very warm night and a chance of rain, of course, in the forecast. You can see what the field conditions look like. It was a very wet encounter earlier in the first matchup of Group H between Antigua and Barbuda and Costa Rica. And this is how the group looks going into this game tonight. So Costa Rica with those three points, able to get up to four after two games. They have secured their spot in the next round. As for Jamaica and Honduras, they can, or one of them could do the same here tonight. Honduras with a win or a draw. And if Jamaica wins, they will be moving through. Well, it should be a good atmosphere tonight with the host nation playing here in San Pedro Sula and Estadio Francisco Morazan. Last time out for this Honduran side, a 3-0 win over Antigua and Barbuda, Zuniga. Macias and Acetuno able to score the three goals on the night for Honduras. A great start for Luis Alvarado's side as they look to advance on to the next round. They can do that tonight with a win or a draw. On the other side for Jamaica, it was a 1-1 draw against Costa Rica. They did just settle for that draw. It was a penalty Double. kick scored by Clark. They actually missed a penalty earlier in the game as well in the 74th minute. But Marcel Gale side looking for a result tonight. We'll see what they can do as the teams will take to the field. It's Jamaica and Honduras, and it's coming up. Damas y caballeros, por favor, de pie. A continuación, los signos nacionales de Jamaica y de Honduras. Yeah. 
building you up to first kick the nightcap here on this Monday night from the CONCACAF Men's Under-20 Championship. It's the hosts Honduras and Jamaica. Second group stage match for both of these sides and a chance to advance on to the knockout stage for one of them in this match tonight. Jamaica coming off the draw, Honduras coming off the full three points and a 3-0 win over Antigua and Barbuda. Any chance to look at tonight's starting lineups, we will start with Marcel Gale and Jamaica. He makes two changes coming in to tonight's match. And of course the goal scorer, Jamari Clark, the 18 year old who plays his club football for Reading. Very experienced players on this Jamaican side, at least at the club level. And we'll see what they have tonight for Jamaica. A look at our officiating crew tonight. It's Jose Torres of Puerto Rico. Tonight's fourth official, Ivan Barton of El Salvador. And a chance to look at both of the captains. It's Christopher Pearson for Jamaica. Aaron Zuniga for Honduras. show you the Honduras lineup. A photo for the captains and the officials here tonight. And the VAR room. Ekaterina Korleva of the United States, assisted by Corey Richardson, also of the U.S. And that will give us a chance to look at Luis Alvarado's starting lineup for Honduras as well. A couple of changes coming into the attack. Exxon Arzu and Anthony Garcia move to the bench. So a chance for some debutants in this competition to impress the manager tonight as they look for a result that could get them in to the knockout stage here in their home country. I feel like there could be a bit of extra pressure on the host nation to perform. We'll see what happens tonight as they are coming off a big win last time out. There's Kanaya Boyce Clark. He will be in goal tonight for Jamaica. On the other side, it's Jurgen Garcia in between the pipes for Los Catrachos. Jose Torres. Sets his watch, we wait on his whistle. Those white shirts won't be white for much longer on this muddy surface at Estadio Francisco Morazan. The conditions will be a talking point, or at least the field conditions. We'll see if rain plays a factor as it has here in San Pedro Sula. So far in this competition, there's the whistle, and we are underway. A big opportunity for both of these sides here tonight. Still with one more game to play. Will there be Jamaica booking their spot in the next round or will it be Honduras tonight? These two teams have played twice. Honduras has come away with two wins, a 4-0 win in 2009 and a 2-1 victory in 2011. And here comes Honduras into the attack to start. They'll move it off to that right side. Looking for an early ball across. It was blocked down. Still a chance for Carrasco. Now gets the cross away. There was a good shot in there, but it was blocked down right on impact. Again, they'll go towards Carrasco. It's poked away. And Jamaica able to get this upfield as far as Roca and his cross fizzled in and in the side netting. It's out for a goal kick. It's a positive start for Honduras in the opening few minutes. This Jamaican side, their 21st appearance in this competition. Best finish was third place, but that was over 50 years ago. Can 
away in the middle. Behind Campbell, who retrieves it and now can drive up fields. Moves it along for Kobe Thomas, who gets it out wide. Now the service comes in. The header is down and just wide. Did that take a slight deflection off of Jamari Clark's forehead? Fizzled in from that left side. And put that in a really good spot. For Clark to attack, he just couldn't direct it on frame. Jurgen Garcia missed the punch, but now he'll have his goal kick. There's Clark who tried to leave it. Honduras can work up fields. Odin Ramos plays it up ahead for Rodas. Heavy touch, this wet surface might keep this in play. The header is just in front and it's tapped home. Under three minutes and Honduras has an opening goal. Marco Asituno. Jamaica appealing that that ball went out past the end line, but just able to keep that in play. Rodas put the service in front. Konaya boys Clark couldn't keep it out. And it's Honduras who leads 1-0. Another look at this, and this will be really interesting. Did this ball go out of play? Oh, it's really close. Remember, the whole ball has to go past that white line. Rodas with the service, and Acetuno with the finish. It's his second goal in this competition. That was the best look. And you wonder if VAR wants to take a little bit of a longer look at this. They do not, the goal stands and Honduras leads and they want more already. Trying to cut in field, now the shot bouncing and it's just wide. Couldn't have asked for a more positive start for Honduras. Isaac Castillo that time putting it just wide. Good look at it from behind, just see how close this was. Nearly skimming the outside of that post. So how will Jamaica respond? For Honduras pretty much picking up right where they left off. Really positive performance against Antigua and Barbuda. Shot coming in from distance. It sent Garcia scrambling, but nothing to test him in the end. The goal's pretty spread out for Honduras on Saturday in the 31st, the 71st, and then a penalty scored by Marco Acetuno in the 84th minute. Both teams getting on the board in the last game via the penalty spot. And of course, Jamari Clark's penalty kick goal coming in the 98th minute. Does this stay in play? It does not. But Roberts just running out of room. Roberts, who is a potent goal scorer for Wolverhampton Wanderers in their under 18 side. He scored 13 goals in this past season. As this is headed out of play, it'll be the game's first corner kick, and it comes for Jamaica. Miguel Carrasco coming over to head that out. And Inter Miami's Kobe Thomas, who will take this corner kick. It'll be an in-swinger. Put it in a good area. Headed clear by Aaron Zuniga. And maybe a chance to break now for Honduras. Little hesitation trying to find some space. Sliding challenge put in. Devontae Campbell wanted back initially, but now it's Honduras. They're off to the races again. Moving this into a wide position. The service comes back in and taken by Boyce Clark. As Jamaica looks to break up field, there will be a whistle to stop play. Player down for Jamaica.
Campbell back to his feet. And a collision there with Tomas Sorto. He's trying to get the mud out of his eye as well. Drop ball, we'll put it back in play with Konaya Boyce Clark. Clark tried to keep it. Now it's Duncan McKenzie. Gets it out to that left side. There's McKenzie on it again. Looking for options. And that's off the mark, looking for Devontae Campbell. Ximenes. Ximenes on it with his head up as he drives up field. Looking for Jamari Clark. Good hold up play, moves it aside for McKenzie. Campbell. Campbell driven ball in and right at Garcia. With that jersey nice and dirty in the mud. What's at stake in this competition? Four spots. So all the semi-finalists will move on to the FIFA Under-20 World Cup. And the two finalists will, of course, be able to go to the Summer Olympics in 2024. As Jamari Clark in an offside position. Marcel Gale, who is also the current coach of Waterhouse FC in Jamaica. All this opportunity once in a lifetime for this group. I'm saying I want to leave a mark of success on this team. As the cross is fizzled in, it's picked up at the top of the area. Castillo moves it out wide. Now he gets it back, sends the shot away. It's blocked down and Jamaica clears. That's what's so interesting about these under 20 or under 17 competitions is, once you're old enough, you're obviously not eligible. So that's why, for most of these players, they have one chance to succeed in this competition at this level. It's a unique circumstance to be able to play everybody who is exactly your age. And that's what this opportunity, or that's what this competition presents for all of these players. Break the lines, it's picked up in the middle by Roberts. Pearson. Now it's Campbell. Roberts for Ziminis. And right through the middle, Clark with his back to goal and on the turn, the shot's blocked. Castillo tries to start something here. It bounces all the way through. There's the goalkeeper using his feet. Kaya Boyce Clark gets it out of harm's way. On downfield. Honduras looking upfield again. Ramos trying to get out to the right side. Nothing doing, and now stolen from behind. And again, they'll utilize that right flank, and the shot is fired well out of play.
down the line, not trying to cut it in field. Honduras able to keep this alive. Jamaica getting their bodies in the way of a lot of these crosses and shots. But it was in the third minute that Marco Acetuno was able to break the deadlock. Jamaica playing from behind for the second straight game. Flip side, it's Honduras, of course, playing from the front. Here's Thomas, and now Roberts. So hard to get those passes or the weight of the passes exactly right. So it made that first Honduras goal so impressive. With Emery Rodas just able to keep that in play right along the end line. But here's Clark, so good with his back to goal. He moves this out wide for Devontae Campbell. Campbell trying to cut it in, now cuts it back. The shot dribbled in front. Cleared away, it's another corner kick coming for the Reggae boys. And it's Kobe Thomas go over to take this. A 16-year-old product out of Inner Miami, their academy. Thomas to deliver in towards the near post. It's blocked down and cleared. This ball will stay in play for Ramos. Ramos trying to carry it upfield. He'll get it right back from Sorto. Ramos cut off. And Jamaica has it right back. Pearson for McKenzie. Campbell for Roberts. Slow probe here by Jamaica as they look for time on the ball. As they look to unlock this Honduran defense. Nifty little back heel to find some space. Hopping over to challenge. Rochester's cross, plenty of depth on this, maybe too much. And not able to keep that in play, a throw into Honduras. Lamont Rochester playing down that left side. Just overcooking that cross. Thomas. Now with Pearson. A lot of the ball in these last few minutes for Jamaica. What can they do with it? Honduras is dropping into that low block. A little push from behind, no whistle. Instead, the whistle will be a handball against Roberts, who couldn't believe it. And here goes Honduras again. Acetuno, the goal scorer, tries to slide this ahead. And the pass off the mark, it's Luke Badley. Comes over to collect it. Chester just able to keep this. Campbell for McKenzie. Jamaica look upfield again. Rochester, Clark got his head on it. Not able to steer that towards goal. Instead, it's out for a goal kick. On this Honduran side, what an opportunity. 
to potentially qualify as we'll look at this goal again. Just able to keep that in play. Beautiful header back across the face of goal. It's exactly what you're told to do. And Marco Acetuno able to convert that cross. Jamaica, this their, or pardon me, Honduras, their 20th appearance in this competition. They did win it on two occasions in 1982 and 94. Runners up in 2017. They have done well over the last handful of years as well. Runners up in 2017, a playoff winner in 2015, third place in 2009. Made the last three under 20 World Cups as well. But haven't made it out of the group stage in any of those three. They still have been successful at the youth level. When you talk about the under 17 level, made the 2013, 15, and 17 under 17 World Cups and reached the quarterfinals in 2013, the round of 16 in 2017. You look to the national team, the senior national team for Honduras. It's a team in rebuild mode, there's no doubt about it. Really tough World Cup qualifying cycle once they got into that final round. Could maybe a few of these players on the field factor into some of the future plans for Los Catrachos at the senior level. Jamaica looking for it again, and again that pass is intercepted. Zimenez flying in and just getting another deflection on it to win it back. Ramos. That option's up ahead, instead slowed it down. Here's Ramos back on the ball and moving it out wide. Contreras. It's blocked down, and that will be a corner kick. It's the first of the game for Honduras. The <laughs> outswinger, this one driven in well. Everybody's head is tracked down. Ariaga's cross, the header going towards goal. It's Boyce Clark who can see this bounce just by his post. Hermi Rodas who helps contribute to that opening goal for Honduras. Got his head on the end of that one. Service in from Javier Ariaga. the big center back just able to head that wide Ramos and he'll go for an ambitious effort he had Boyce Clark scrambling back onto his line he sees this fly just out of play. Pressure from Honduras. As Jamaica looked to build out from the back. Badly. Sliding this ahead. And space to maneuver into for Jamaica. They'll get it out to that far side for Campbell. Now it's McKenzie. He was looking towards goal. He's still trying to dribble through. A sliding challenge will end that threat. And maybe a chance now for Honduras to sprint forward. Zuniga, heavy challenge coming in. 
Zuniga stays down, might just be to catch his breath. Now he hops right back to his feet. Long run, and then there was the challenge put in by Romain Blake. This stays alive. Asituno gets to the end line, trying to keep this alive, working his way through. Asituno earns a corner. Very well done by the goal scorer. Another in-swinger for Honduras. Put right into the mixer, and the header looping towards goal. Out of play, they'll do it again. Ramos bounces it in towards the near post and cleared away. A chance to counter here, it's Roberts. Felt the contact, this will be a yellow card. It's the game's first. And it goes to Tomas Sorto. It's that little hip check from behind. A tactical foul, if you will, professional foul. Sorto into the book, have to be careful for the remaining. Clark got a foot on it, Honduras gets it out. Home fans wanting a foul, instead they continue on. McKenzie driven in towards the back post where Roberts was waiting. Skids off this wet surface and out of play. Asituno. Quick throw in. Ramos. Zimini steps in. It's clear it's not far enough. It's Roca. Dio trying to go the long way around, keeps this in play. It's blocked down, Blake got his foot in the way. And he'll send this upfield, looking to spark a counterattack. There's Clark, and there's plenty of room over there on the left. Campbell, a missed touch. Now Rochester. There's Kobe Thomas. Christopher Pearson, the captain. McKenzie weaving through. McKenzie on his left foot. Deflected out of play. Another corner kick coming for Jamaica. McKenzie's really shown that willingness to take players on 1v1. He wants to take that shot from distance. You bounce it off this surface, you really never know. What could happen? Kirk and Garcia has to be prepared for everything. And 
Again, it's Kobe Thomas who stands over this corner kick. Outswinger this time. The heads go up. The shot just wide. It fell right to that right foot of Tyler Roberts. Couldn't steer it inside that far corner. Thomas, really good delivery again. And you have to say, that's maybe just a missed man mark for Honduras. Roberts kind of floated away from the pack. It's so interesting for teams that want to knock it around, put it on the surface. They almost have to adapt to what this surface is like. It's so hard to play. Most of those teams that go over the top have the better opportunities. And just to look at how close that was. As Thomas comes in field again. Maybe another throw in. Henrik Ximines. Kenzie, all the way back for Christopher Pearson. Blake joins the attack. His right-footed cross steered out of play again. Jamaica have yet another corner kick. Already the fourth corner kick of the match for Jamaica. Thomas delivers. This one, another free shot bouncing towards goal and parried away. Two straight corners. It's had been free shots. This one they take short. Roberts for Thomas. Little nutmeg by Thomas. Trying to get end line. Stop me if you heard this before. Another corner kick for Jamaica. Just keep mounting. And the service has been very good on almost all of them. Can they make one count and something tangible from it. Another outswinger. Garcia was run into. And this one cleared away. Nervy moments there for Honduras in defending those set pieces. They remain out in front. Ramos. Just pulled back by Ximenes. Honduras quickly puts it back into play. As they look to respond to a little bit of pressure that they received on the other end. throw bouncing forward goalkeeper off his line and somehow wasn't turned in last ditch defending by Jamaica once again and they race back the other way and they catch Honduras out that ball not where it needed to be looking for Roberts making that run down this near side Roberts though gets back into the play and keeps it for Jamaica McKenzie.
Rochester, long cross in. Headed back centrally, dangerous, but it does work out. And that counter press by Jamaica has been really good as they win it back in another good area. Honduras have been able to find that quick outlet ball. They've been able to have some success. But Jamaica closes those spaces down so quickly. They get back into the attack. Tarek Ximenes cuts it in field. Still going. He was cut down. This play continues on. I think the referee tried to play advantage. Flicked forward. Had to be played there. Another turnover in this attacking third. Ziminis. Thomas. Thomas! Blocked down. Zuniga getting his body in the way. Thomas has really shown his skill tonight. But here comes Honduras back the other way and room to work through the middle. Played all the way to this near side and that ball won't check up this time. Another look at that last opportunity and a sliding challenge put in at the very last moment by Rochester. Honduras again, it's Asituno! And this trickling towards the line, it's in! Asituno scores again for Honduras! It's a brace tonight, it's three goals in two games, and Honduras leads 2-0. The hosts protecting their home turf. Naya Boyce Clark so close to keeping that one out. Beautiful ball played through by Castillo. We got a little something on it, but not able to keep that one out. And with all that mud in there, I'm sure he was hoping that ball would have stopped. But just enough momentum on it to carry it past the line. The clearance goes off the post and into the back of the net. Chances over the last few minutes for Jamaica, and it's one chance the other way for Honduras, and they convert it. Right now, Jamaica looking for answers. Marco Asituno plays for Real España, scored two goals in the league over seven appearances last season. As they were runners up in the Apertura and the Clausura. Liga Nacional here in Honduras. Asituno, one of the few players that has been in camp for the full national team. He's on the bench a handful of times during World Cup qualifiers over the last cycle. There's no doubt they think highly of Asituno and he has two goals to show for it here tonight. 
Loaded for it again. Is there a hat trick in the cards? Essituno blocked down. Well, the first half brace, nothing to scoff at. He's looking for more. Swinger. Right into the middle, cleared away. Good first touch by Castillo. Castillo trying to turn the corner. Ramos, taken away from behind. Here comes Kobe Thomas. Couldn't keep it alive. Was under some pressure there in the middle. A fresh coat of mud on his backside. Ramos. Wanted to leave it there for the overlap, but instead turns back. Broke out. Is down the line. This will roll all the way out for a goal kick. Well, as things stand, Costa Rica, the lone side so far to advance through into the knockout stages after their 3 0 win over Antigua and Barbuda. As for Jamaica, they're not able to get a result tonight. It will come down to the final day where a win or a draw will do it against Antigua and Barbuda. That result they got in the first match against Costa Rica could prove vital. Honduras with any sort of result tonight, a win or a draw, they would be officially qualified as well. Top three teams in each group. This one, Group H, an intriguing one. Thomas couldn't get it out wide. Ximenes, Pearson floats it out wide. Rochester. Rochester now cutting it back again. Plenty of possession for Jamaica. What can they make of it? Blake. Romain Blake still coming forward. It's going to be one too many touches. What can they fancy here? Roberts, the cross. Rochester again. They'll reset. Pearson. Floats it forward. And the clearing header. And this will be a foul to end the threat. And really, no need for it. And it will be a yellow card accompanied with it. Romain Blake into the book, and that looks to just be a frustration foul. 16-year-old has his name taken.
Here's Castillo. Down the line. And this will go back the other way. along this good build up from Jamaica it's Roberts Zimenez for Roberts and the return ball this is out of play it's a throw in deep in the corner final 90 seconds away. Castillo steps in. And now it's Thomas who's scolded by the AR. Basically, a corner kick here for Jamaica. We've seen plenty of those in this first half. Thomas, the delivery. Garcia, the punch. Still a chance to keep this alive through traffic. It was blocked down. And now a chance on the counter. Castillo. Trying to beat Rochester for pace. Rochester the challenge. And what's the decision going to be? It's a free kick. And what will the card color be if there is one? It looks like just the front pocket. Yellow card to Lamont Rochester. And he can thank his teammates for streaming back defensively as well. Another look at it here. No doubt a foul. I'm sure that elbow on the way through wasn't appreciated either. So Rochester has his name taken. It's a free kick as we get into stoppage time. Just outside the area, plenty of options around this, and this is going to be looked at. Is this a denial of a clear goal scoring opportunity? And is he the last man back? There's nobody in the picture. So the thought from Ekaterina Korleva, the VAR, is that indeed he was the last man back. And might this be a red card offense? Is Romain Blake, who the next man is, going to get there? It sure looked to be one-on-one -on -one in that scenario. Well, here's the decision from Jose Torres, and Jamaica might be in trouble. The yellow card is wiped away. And Rochester knows his fate now. It's a red card. He's sent off. Jamaica down two goals and now down a man. So 
On a tough first half for the Reggae boys. Just gets a little bit tougher. And really how the VAR process should work. And you have to say that is the right decision. Rochester will hit the showers a little bit early. And now a chance from a dead ball just outside the area. Ramos, Sorto, stand around this. It's a four-man wall as Boyce Clark gets everybody in position. Here's the free kick. It's around the wall, and it's taken by Boyce Clark. I don't know exactly how much stoppage time we have, but we continue on. And that's the end of this first half. A first half dominated by Honduras, at least in a goal scoring sense. Marco Acetuno able to score twice. It's a first half brace in Jamaica. As you just saw moments ago, going down to 10 men, it will be an uphill battle as they look to qualify for the next round. But Honduras, they have one foot in the knockout stage. It's halftime from San Pedro Sula. It's Jamaica nil, Honduras two.
are or who you're rooting for. You can watch your favorite competitions, teams, and players on the go. Get the latest news on all things CONCACAF. Get access to stats, play-by-play, -play, player's information, schedule, and standings. Get instant notifications and alerts. Discover other fans like you. And show your support in social media with our exclusive camera filters. All of that and much more. Take your CONCACAF experience to the next level. Download now the official CONCACAF app, available on the App Store and Google Play. competitions, teams, and players on the go. Get the latest news on all things CONCACAF. Get access to stats, play-by-play, -play, players' information, schedule, and standings. Get instant notifications and alerts. Discover other fans like you. And show your support in social media with our exclusive camera filters. All of that and much more. Take your CONCACAF experience to the next level. Download now the official CONCACAF app, available on the App Store and Google Play.
who you're rooting for. You can watch your favorite competitions, teams, and players on the go. Get the latest news on all things CONCACAF. Get access to stats, play-by-play, -play, players' information, schedule, and standings. Get instant notifications and alerts. Discover other fans like you. And show your support in social media with our exclusive camera filters. All of that and much more. Take your CONCACAF experience to the next level. Download now the official CONCACAF app, available on the App Store and Google Play. Getting set for the second 45 minutes of action from Estadio Morazan in San Pedro Sula, Honduras. It's Honduras playing host to Jamaica. CONCACAF men's under 20 championship. Just getting ready for this second 45 minutes and it will have to be a comeback effort tonight for the reggae boys as they trail 2-0 they are also down a man after the straight red car to Lamont Rochester will also miss the last game of the group stage coming up against Antigua and Barbuda. That comes up in just a few days time, but it looks like there will be a substitution coming. It will be Luis Watson checking in. And it also looks like Chad James will be coming on as well. Tyler Roberts will be replaced alongside Kobe Thomas. So much of this competition is about man management and that's what Marcel Gale has to do with three games in a short span of time, taking off two of his more dangerous attackers, potentially saving them for the game that could take them into the knockout stages coming up on Wednesday against Antigua and Barbuda. We'll see what this Jamaican side has in them in this second half. It will be a long way back, but there is the whistle and away we go. The 11 men of Honduras, the 10 men of Jamaica. And Marco Acetuno's two goals so far. The difference through 45 minutes of action.
Honduras 2-0 in the two previous meetings in this competition against Jamaica. Missed the first in 11 years since 2011 that these teams have met. There's James who has come on, the 17-year-old. Over 60% of the ball for Jamaica in the first half. They did have quite a few chances, but this Honduran back line has been stingy, very tough to beat. They are through now a game and a half without conceding a goal. Lofted forward. Header down and out of play. That's a throw in for Jamaica. And there's the other sub. It's Luis Watson. A 19 year old plays for Santos in Jamaica. Clark. Return ball in field. Touched along. Nobody will get there. And all the way back out to midfield. And there's Luke Badley. who plays with the Chelsea under 18s. He's done that over the last couple of seasons. Did make one appearance in Premier League two with the under 23s for Chelsea. And actually two appearances for the England under 17s. He's eligible to play for both national teams. Trying his hand here with Jamaica as this is turned over and Honduras looking upfield quickly. Slid in for Castillo around the goalkeeper and this one off the post and in. A brilliant run of play for Honduras and it's finished off by Isaac Castillo. Right out of halftime, just like the first half. It's a quick goal and Honduras leads by three. Almost an impossible angle for Isaac Castillo. Somehow able to steer that just inside the goal. Brilliant build up again. One touch around the goalkeeper, a really tough angle. He hit the outside of the post and somehow it goes across the goal line and into the net. Just a perfect finish and a deft touch with that right foot just to kiss it off the post and send it in. Badly couldn't clear it off the line. And it's Castillo who gets his first goal of this competition. And Jamaica a longer way to come back into this one. throw in Try to keep it alive unsuccessful here's Castillo again trip from behind free says play on Castillo gets right back to his feet Carrasco floats this in Wanted to take that on the bike. Instead, they'll work it back around. This time it's Contreras. And he'll send one towards goal. Dipping, but taken by Konaya Boyce Clark. Another former England youth national teamer. Castillo, who is a pretty integral part of Marathon's most recent season. 34 appearances, four goals in league play for Castillo, just 19 years of age. Has also played five times in Scotiabank CONCACAF League. Long throw. Harris do well to get this clear. Chance on the break once again.
Shot from distance, and this guy well out of play. Jason Contreras, you can see his eyes getting big coming up from that right back position. Long down that right side, and finally a touch for Jamari Clark, who has not been able to get into this game a whole lot. But here is Clark trying to make something happen. Clark on his left foot. Just rolling it wide. You can tell it was his weaker left foot. Not able to get the contact he was hoping for. He's been a star, though, for Redding. Mostly for the under-23s at just 18 years of age. Also scored twice in the English Championship for Redding in the most recent season. Here's Clark again, going on his right foot. Can't find the frame of goal. And out for another goal kick. It's a little bit better there from Jamaica, even down a man. Still pressing and trying to find some sort of response. Honduras into the attack again. Ramos trying to turn the corner. Ramos gets end line. And tried to score from that same angle Castillo did. Instead puts it out of play. Give him some credit for taking that on. And Luis Alvarado can't have too many complaints on a night like this. Against the Jamaican side in which you've conceded plenty of con of possession. Still have those three goals to show for on three pretty brilliant individual efforts. James tries to move it up fields. Fended off by McKenzie. Chad James. Little burst here. James eventually last ditch effort touches this out of play corner kick for jamaica james standing over the corner kick Driven ball in, bouncing once, and Clark got his foot on it. This deflected out of play. What an opportunity that was for Jamaica off the corner kick. They've been very dangerous on these set pieces tonight. This will be the eighth corner kick of the night for Jamaica. The in-swinger is punched away by Garcia. Still, the chance alive. Losing his footing was Devontae Campbell. And here comes Honduras. Tomas Sorto leads the break. Ahead for Acetuno. Marco Acetuno. Touchdown of play, and now a corner kick for Honduras. This will be number five on the night. kick, another driven ball in. Anaya Boyce Clark is there. Marco 
Castillo and Acetuno has been a lethal combination tonight for Honduras. These two both contributing to the second and third goals. Goal and an assist on both of those, and of course Acetuno able to get the goal to open the scoring all the way back in the third minute. Two subs preparing to come on. It'll be Colton Kelly and Jeffrey Macias coming on. And a really strong night for both of these players coming off. There will be no hat trick. Marco Acetuna will make way alongside Tomas Sorto, who is on a yellow card. Luis Alvarado is protecting his player there. years of age. Player down here for Jamaica. Stevante Campbell. Just has some mud in his eye. Forward again, on the turn, just onto the field, Masia scores! Could be his first touch since coming on. And he adds a fourth goal for Honduras. An absolute rocket from Jeffrey Macias. The goals just keep on coming for the host nation as they are running away from 10-man Jamaica. It's a simple ball up over the top. Just kind of shrugs off the defender and went for power and put it in the top shelf. A great finish, a thundering finish from Macias. It's his second goal of this competition after scoring the second goal against Antigua and Barbuda. And surely now, Honduras cementing their spot in the knockout stage. But here's Clark trying to respond. Clark weaving through, Clark deflected down and out of play, it's a corner kick. Played in short, Luis Watson. Campbell back for Watson. Watson's cross. Right at Jurgen Garcia. 17 year old has played a strong game in net so far. Again on the break, it's Ramos. Ramos, room to shoot, he takes it on, it's blocked down. Anaya Boyce-Clark is there again for Jamaica. And the long distribution finds Campbell. Devontae Campbell now turns back. Well, not the night 
that Marcel Gale was hoping for. He said coming into this competition, we have quality in the country, and at this level, we know we can compete. He said the plus is that most of these guys are pros, which is true. They're mostly in pro environments. And for some, even at some of the biggest clubs in the world, the likes of Chelsea and Wolves and Reading. But so far, it hasn't necessarily translated. Here's McKenzie trying to change that. McKenzie gets it out wide. Campbell trying to show his moves. McKenzie in for James, trying to get the shot away. He does, but it's out of play. Again, nothing doing. Heel trying to spring Castillo into the attack again. Defender goes down, and now it's touched out of play from his backside, Watson. to his feet. If you can find the corner kick taker, his jersey pretty much the color of the ground at this point. This one is headed down and blocked away. Ramos, the goalkeeper, makes a clean catch. James trying to sidestep his way in, and he's cut down and fouled. Free kick to Jamaica just outside the area. with the chance to lift this in. Simonis was flicked along, but nobody in the Jamaican shirt could get on the end of it. Pearson, cross block down. He will get there and keep this, showing a bit of skill in the process. All the way back, or the goalkeeper, and Boyce Clark gets rid of it. Looks like Jamaica preparing another sub, but in the meantime, it will be one for Honduras. Robert Nunez will replace Isaac Castillo. What a magical player he is, and he showed tonight. It will also be Anthony Garcia coming on, replacing Odin Ramos, who again played a big part this Jamaican side. In front of me for this Honduran side. 
Four subs now have been used for Honduras. And it looked like Jamaica was getting set to make two as well. Lofted over the top once again. Nunez just onto the field. The 19-year-old plays for Olympia. Of course, one of the perennial powers in Liga Nacional. And here are the two subs for Jamaica. Alexander Bicknell replaced Devontae Campbell. End of the night for Duncan McKenzie. And Zion Scarlett will come on. Columbus Crew product. He was eligible to represent either the United States or Jamaica. He was born in Philadelphia. We're signing his most recent pro deal with Columbus Crew 2. For Bicknell, the 17 year old, plays for SC Fortuna Köln in Germany. Runs out of play. point of this second half. Jamaica down to 10. Honduras led 2-0 at halftime. They've added two more. In the space of just a few minutes already in this second half. And a chance now for Jamaica to respond. It's Clark, and it's blocked down. Jamari Clark. Lone goal scorer so far for Jamaica in this competition. And he has looked goal dangerous at times tonight, but still has yet to find that breakthrough. So Chad James will send this in towards the near post, flick through. Just not Jamaica's night on those corner kicks. Coming from behind is badly, and that should be a yellow card, and it is. Disrupting the counterattack badly into the book. Honduras might want to run up the score just based on goal difference, but how the standings are going to shake out, goal difference really will not factor in. Here comes Honduras again, this deflected up and out of play. It would only factor in to see who finishes second or third. With Costa Rica on four points, Honduras going up to six. If Jamaica was able to beat Antigua and Barbuda, it would be a battle for that second and third place spot between Jamaica and Costa Rica. So that might doom Jamaica here tonight. This is played in, bouncing out of play, and they'll do it again. But with the two matchups, Jamaica and Tegan Barbuda and Honduras and Costa Rica coming up on Wednesday. The Honduras and Jamaica 
teams with the advantage in their respective games as this is fired out of play. Jamaica can get through with a draw or a win. Tegan Barbuda has to win in order to advance on. teams to have booked their spots in the next round already in other groups being Cuba and the United States. Costa Rica being the third and looks like Honduras will be the fourth. Here's Contreras taken off the ball by Watson. And this out of play. Surprising result, you'd have to say, tonight between Canada and the United States. Canada led twice in that game. The United States able to find a couple of equalizers as they draw 2-2 with their northern rivals in Canada. Shout out to Cuba. They got a maybe a surprising 1-0 win over Canada on Saturday. Followed that up with a 6-0 win over St. Kitts and Nevis tonight in the opening game of the night. Macias coming forward again, trying to weave through. Watson stepped in, cleared it away. Those games tomorrow, we'll see Suriname play Haiti, turn it out in Tobago and Mexico in Group F. There will be one final substitution for Honduras. Edson Roca will be making way. Tatum will be coming on. 17 year old Real Espana coming into the fold here for the last few minutes. That is the fifth and final sub of the night for Luis Alvarado. A player down for Jamaica. They do have one sub remaining. Two groups in action tomorrow Group F and Group G. Match day number two for both of those groups. It's Panama and El Salvador who were able to get a couple of big wins in Group G. Mexico took down Suriname 8-0, and how about the shootout between Haiti and Trinidad and Tobago, a 4-4 draw. That group still very much there for the taking in terms of the teams moving through. Mexico, though, a good start. Well, as Panama and El Salvador with two commanding victories. Referee wasn't quite ready for that throw in. in behind. Jamaica able to get this out of play. Bouncing through, Macias is there, and this one saved. Konaya Boyce-Clark with a big time stop. And look at that, basically a slip and slide of mud on that near side. Another look at this opportunity. Just denied by Boyce Clark. Player down, it's Luis Watson. The one who came on as a substitute in the second half. And it looks like his night will be over. Jamone Barclay looked to be the one who was getting set to replace him. This will 
be the final sub of the night. So Watson is off. Barclay is on, the 19-year-old. Plays for Charleston Maroons in Jamaica. on the ball for Honduras as they look to see this one out. Maybe add another goal or two in there. As long as they get a win or a draw in the next match, they will be the winners of this Group H. It's Clark who's cut down, a free kick to Jamaica. Man wall. Eric Ziminis, I think he wants to take this on. And why not at this point? Zimini strides up and he sails this one out of play. You can see the intent behind it. He was looking for that low rocket and just couldn't put it over the bar. Headed out wide. Garcia comes in, rolls it in front, and not able to steer it in. It was Carrasco making that run all the way at the back post. Garcia put it in a great spot. Carrasco just a step too late, and he remains down as he went hard into those boards. Sliding on the mud. A little bit of extra velocity to that slide. Minutes to go from San Pedro Sula. This ball floated forward. Nobody on the end of it. The 
top again. It's bouncing out of play. Tedder. Clark brought down and another free kick. And maybe Zibanez will step over this one again. It's been a tough night for Jamari Clark showing the referee his jersey. Another wall being set up here for Honduras. We'll see what the decision is here. Pearson, he will take this and go low with it. And it's straight out of play. They didn't put anybody behind the wall. Pearson tried for something creative and still not able to beat Jurgen Garcia tonight. Riding forward. This goes out wide again. Heavy touch, and this turned over. A little burst here from Barclay, who just came on. Long switch of play. Scarlett doing well defensively. Now it's Chad James. Scarlett continuing his run. That ball just a little bit behind him. And now maybe a chance for another, but badly blocked that down. And a player down again for Jamaica. They're already down to 10 men as this is Macias again. Macias cuts it back. Can he get the shot away? Back to his right foot, and he scores! Just weaving through and eventually found the avenue to shoot, and he took it. It's five goals for Honduras. It's a brace for Jeffren Macias, and Honduras running right at home. the whole time that's what he was trying to do getting it back to that right foot just watch it again the player down for Jamaica but Honduras continues on they have the right to do so just spinning around and turning it in Simonis just over pursued cutting in fields Boyce Clark not able to keep it out a really nice finish into the bottom corner. So Macias with his third goal of this competition. Asituno and Macias both with three goals total. And Honduras leads this one by five goals to nil with five minutes remaining. Flying the flag proudly tonight.
Blake was the one that went down. He now comes back on. And the nice thing about playing every other day, at least in the group stage, is to be able to turn the page very quickly with this being a late game for Jamaica. She'll just go back to the hotel, go straight to bed, wake up tomorrow, recover. And it's basically time to play another game the next day. It has to be quick memory loss here. As some would say, got to be a goldfish. And this one is another foul. As Chad James was weaving his way through, Jamaican side still everything in front of them. They do control their own destiny to advance on. They just need a win or a draw against Antigua and Barbuda, which will not be easy. That Antigua and Barbuda side, albeit they have lost two games by three goals to nil, they have looked fairly dangerous and maybe unlucky not to score today against Costa Rica. Jamon Barclay is readying this free kick. He'll curl this in, immediately cleared away. And here comes Honduras. Zimenez down the line. Barclay. And it was left foot, bouncing in, never reached Jamari Clark. Jamaica put together some really good opportunities in that first half. But it was right before halftime that was really the crushing blow for the reggae boys. They were down 2-0. Got all right, if they can score the next goal on the other side of halftime to be okay, but then it was Rochester who picked up the red card after it went to a VAR review. And it all spiraled out of control from there. Two quick goals, the opening 15 minutes out of halftime for Honduras, and they had a fifth goal just a few moments ago. Bicknell gets it out wide, early shot on by James. Is saved by Garcia. Looking for a second straight clean sheet. And so far for Honduras, it's eight goals for and none against. They have been perfect. Wide for James again. James, and it's tipped over the bar. Jurgen Garcia, a tremendous save. James has been dangerous all night long. That was surely going to be in the back of the net, if not for the right hand of Jurgen Garcia. Ball in and straight into the outside side netting. It'll be one minute of additional time. Service back in for Clark. This cleared away. Be 
And one more opportunity upfield. No decision there from the referee. So just to remind you, Jamaica will take on Antigua and Barbuda next up. Well, there will be a fight for the top of the group between Honduras and Costa Rica. Central American rivals. And there is the final whistle. Honduras, a perfect start to this CONCACAF Men's Under-20 Championship. Two wins out of two, six points, two clean sheets, and they are rolling in to the knockout stage. They'll play one more game on Wednesday for a chance to cement the top spot in the group. But a commanding victory tonight against 10-man Jamaica. And their emotions show it all on the field as they really had a tough go of it tonight. But it finishes here in San Pedro Sula, Jamaica nil, Honduras 5.